So I have seven, so I'm gonna show all seven in this bag. So grab a snack, grab a drink. It's going to be a long video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dorothy. First, I just want to apologize and say that I've been very inconsistent with this channel, but not only this channel, I have another channel with my best friend Ashley is called Life of Dash. And we've fallen off the wagon, if you will, but this year, I am trying to get back into YouTube, be more consistent in both my channels. So we're back, we're here, and I'm super excited just to get back into filming because 2021 has been actually a very good year for me. And I couldn't be more blessed and grateful because last year was hard to say the least, not just for me, but just for everyone. So I have a lot of big things coming up in the near future and I kind of want to vlog it. I kind of want to film it so I can have those memories forever. Um, so I just want to get back into YouTube, get back into filming, and I'm just really excited to what's to come. So this video is actually going to be a review for a company that I found on Instagram. The company is called LTL London, and I've been seeing their videos pop up on YouTube lately, and I just feel... I just feel like YouTube needs an honest, honest opinion and review about this company. Cause I'm not saying this company isn't good, but I'm just saying that everyone deserves an honest review. And I have bought from this company enough that I can give a full depth review. So this is what I wanna do. So if you're interested in learning more about LTL London and all the specs, the pros, the cons, if I recommend it, then keep on watching. So the first bag that I purchased from LTL London is the classic bag. At least at the time, it was called the classic bag. I purchased this bag December, 2020. And at the time when I bought it, it retailed for $118 uh, USD. But for in pound, it retailed for $83.97. So $118 for this bag. And that doesn't include shipping. I actually had to pay $33 USD for shipping. So it, it, it got a pretty, it got pretty pricey because now we're pushing to close to $150. However, I did buy the bag during the buy one get one free sale so I did get a free bag with this purchase however I did gift that bag to my older sister but I will show you guys the bag that I got um, later because I actually I bought I have eight bags from this company eight gifted my sister one of those bags so I have seven so I'm gonna show all seven in this bag so grab a snack grab a drink, it's going to be a long video. So this is the bag. And it looks exactly like a Chanel bag. So here are the specs of the bag. So the width is 28 centimeters, the height is 16 centimeters, and then the depth is eight centimeters. So it has the Mona Lisa pocket in the back, just like the real Chanel. And it has a turn lock. It has this little zipper compartment. How many videos have you watched on YouTube that says, this is where Coco Chanel hit her love letters. But yeah, if you guys know the history of Chanel, you guys would know that she did hide her love letters here. Um, you can't put anything in this pocket, but that's the same thing with the real Chanel bag. And then it comes with, I have the chain tucked in here um, for storage purposes, but it has a pocket right here that goes all the way down. It's actually very spacious. And then here is the flap. On the original Chanel bag, it will come with like the CCs, but this is a dupe. So it doesn't come with any of the logos. I keep the stuffing in my bags just so we can keep the shape and you know, you know, for storage. And here is what the inside looks like. So just like the real Chanel, it has these two 
pockets right here. And then on the real Chanel, it comes with a lipstick holder. Now this bag, this, this little pocket will not fit anything. It might fit a small pen, but you're literally not fitting anything. And the storage, storage compartment is pretty big. It's really spacious. It can hold all my essentials. And then it also comes with this extra pocket in the front. So this bag does have a lot of storage, but in the same time, you don't want to like overstuff it because it will be hard to close. So the pros I love about this bag is that it looks like a real Chanel bag. Like it literally looks like a real Chanel bag. You can like, it looks so nice. It looks like, Ah, like it just looks gorgeous. Like I love the quilting. I love um, like the, the feel and look of the leather. And I just, it's just an ultimately just like a really cute sleek bag. Like there's a reason why Chanel calls this style like their classic flat because it's such a classic style. It will never go out of style. And this bag is just gorgeous. Now the cons because there's always cons. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but my bag, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but my bag came damaged, like scratched in these lock, on the lock. And I'm just like, it's very disappointing because I paid $118 for this bag for it to come already damaged. and. My toxic trait is that if I buy something online and I don't like it, I don't return it. I have never returned something online that I bought. Like I, I just don't. Like I'll either take my L or donate it or give it to my one of my siblings. I just never have. This, if I could go back in time, I would hands down return this bag. Like it's just like ridiculous. The chain, I also don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but the chain, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but the chain is also wearing really, really bad. This chain is wearing really, really bad. Like this gold, it looks like I've had this bag for like two years. Like the way this chain is just, the gold is just withering away is absolutely crazy. Like I give this bag maybe a few more months until the chain is just too bad for me to carry. Um, and if it's not the chain that makes me not carry this bag, then it's definitely the turn lock because this is like just wearing out. And I literally just got this bag in December. I carried this bag maybe about three different times. I carried it, the first time I carried it was just for errands. I took it to New York and then I took it out to dinner with a friend. And so yeah, three separate times and this bag is wearing like crazy. So I don't think this bag is worth the 118 price tag. However, if you do want that Chanel inspired bag, go ahead, it's cute. Just be mindful that I don't, I personally don't think this is worth the money. Like this, this type of wear, that's unacceptable. Like my coach bags that cost about the same price is better, way better quality. Okay, so the next bag I'm going to show is another classic bag. And it's probably my favorite bag that I got from LTL London. And it is the Caramel Classic look how gorgeous she is you know what this camera this camera isn't doing this bag justice like i promise you in person this bag is so gorgeous like it is stunning and ever since chanel released the 21p collection with the caramel colored flaps this bag has been the hottest bag to get this season well not this one but the chanel one the real one and you know, baby, I cannot afford no Chanel right now, but I still wanted to stay on trend. So I'm really lucky and fortunate that I was able to get this bag in my hands because this bag has been sold out like crazy on the website. And as soon as it came back in stock, I had to grab it. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but this types of bags isn't called the classic bags anymore. Maybe, maybe LTL got copyrighted from Chanel. It's called the Seville bag now, but back then it was called the, the classic bag. And it's basically the same thing as the black one I showed. It has the pocket in the back, has the same turn lock, and it has the zipper compartment. 
right here. Again, I tuck the chain just for storage purposes. It has a pocket back here that again goes all the way down. And then of course the flap. And then of course I keep the stuffing in all my bags. And then here is the inside, the two pockets and the lipstick holder. Now on the real Chanel, I want to mention on the lipstick holder will be big enough to hold a real lipstick, but this is a dupe. You can't copy everything to the T with Chanel. You have to make it a little different. So this will not hold your lipstick, your lip gloss, maybe a lip liner, sure, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. And then it has a pocket here. Now I have to admit, like on the website, it does say that the the height width and depth are the same as the black one i showed you however i'm going to show you what I mean. one second here are the two bags side by side now if you ask me i would say that this bag this brown bag is smaller than the black bag like you guys can you guys see that yeah like this bag is definitely smaller like i would say that this black bag is the same size as like a normal chanel like medium classic flap and this bag is the size of maybe a chanel small classic flap it's it it's not as big i promise you like you can even see from the height like it's not it, there are different sizes i but on the website it says that they're the same size so i don't really know but i love this bag there is no wear and tear the lock came great the chain isn't wearing i mean i literally got this bag um a month ago this was my my most recent purchase i think i got this bag this bag in March, uh, but yeah, I really, really love it. And I don't, have I carried this bag yet? I've carried it for errands, but I don't think I've carried it all out, but I'm so excited. It's so pretty. And I, there's literally like no wear and tear on this bag. I forgot to mention that this bag also has a wear and tear that I also have to mention before you guys consider buying. But this bag right here, the red lining right here is wearing really bad. I even tried to like fill it in with red marker. And to think I paid $118 for this bag. <laughs> I could have went to coach. I could have went to coach. Um, but maybe I just got a bad batch, but this bag, has no wear like this bag is perfect it's um the only thing that annoys me is that there's always these imprints from the zipper that goes here and where is it this end strap like that just doesn't look cute i try to cut it because before when i got it this tail end used to be a lot a lot longer and i had to trim it so other than that I love this bag. It is literally so adorable. And um, if this bag is still on the website, grab it, girl, because this is the color of the season. Okay, this is the bag that I'm most excited to show you because this is the bag that had me sold on this website because I have been eyeing the authentic version of this bag, which is a Chanel, forever. And I always said, I always said, that if I was going to get one Chanel in my lifetime, that it would be this particular bag. But until then, we're rocking the dupe. Look at her. I call her my boy because this is a dupe of the Chanel boy bag. Now on the LTL London website, I'm not sure what the name of this bag is because unfortunately this bag isn't on the website anymore. Um, however, if they do have it, on the website by the time i post this video i will link it down below and i will link every bag i have in my haul down below but this is my boy i love this bag i always wanted a chanel boy bag and i still want a chanel boy bag and i'm actually glad that i bought the dupe of this bag to know if i actually really like it and i love it like between this bag and the caramel 
bag these two bags are the two best bags that i got in this haul like oh I, there's others but these are my favorite like these two are they're 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 worth the money they were worth the money this bag was a little bit expensive. I paid 150 USD and then I had to pay $33 for uh, shipping. So and all in all, I paid $183, which is like ridiculous. But every purchase I made from LTL London, I always did it in a buy one, get one free sale. So it kind of evened out because I got two bags for the price of one. But here it is. I'm usually not a Chevron girl, but I love the Chevron. I, I might have to start switching teams because I just love the Chevron. I love this detail, this silver lock. And let's open her up. There's no back pocket here. This is a little stiff to open. Like I can't only really open it this far. Again, I keep stuffing in all my bags and I keep the chain inside for storage. And then here is the inside. It's just one big open compartment and then it has a pocket, if you guys can see, back there. So that's the only storage we have. And then to close it, you push these buttons to open and close it. And yeah, you can wear this bag like doubled. You can wear it long, crossbody, and it is just such an adorable bag like it literally imitates the real boy bag basically to the T. the chain itself isn't heavy per se but it's not cheap either it's just like a mediumish chain um but again for 150 i would expect the chain to be a little bit more better but i don't think this bag is worth 150 dollars but i think this bag is so cute and i've been trying to look for a bag like this that's at least not like so cheap like fashion nova cheap this bag is actually made pretty well like this bag will definitely last me a few years and i just think it's so luxurious and nice and i'm really glad that i got the dupe before i even think about getting the real one because i wouldn't you know before you buy an expensive bag you want to know if you actually want it or you just you know it just want to feed into the hype but now i know i actually really do want the authentic one because i just adore this bag this bag is my baby like i call it my boy like it's literally my boy i love this bag and i recommend it i have three minis guys three of the classic minis i i went a little i went a little crazy like i know i know but these are the mini classic bags. Um, I On the website now, they're called the Seville bag, the small Seville bag. But when I bought these bags, they were called the classic bag, um, the mini classic bags. And I just adore these bags. So these bags literally imitate the Chanel mini uh, bags. Like it's like the classic mini bags from Chanel, but only this is the dupe version. It has the back pocket right here, and then it has the turn lock. And then it doesn't have a second flap because these are the mini bags. Of course, I have stuffing and I keep my chain in here. It just has a big opening here, and then it has a zipper compartment here that can actually hold quite a lot of stuff. So this bag may be small, but it can hold all your essentials and more. And so it's like, don't, don't try and think like, oh, this bag is so small because it really can hold a lot. This is like my third favorite bag that I got from this collection. This bag is perfect. It is so cute. The blue is the right shade of blue that I've wanted. And all of my mini bags, this is why I have so many, I got for free. So I got the blue one. I got the white one, which the white one is the worst. Out of out of all the bags I got in, this white one is the worst one I got. This one had a weird stench to it. I actually bought it with this bag. Yeah, that bag, this bag had a weird stench to it. Same with my boy, but the stench in uh, my boy bag didn't have, it wasn't that bad, but this one, like till today, I can still smell it. Like, it's like, it's like, what is that? It smells, <sighs> what does it 
smelling. It smells like that shoe store that closed down. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Payless. It smells like Payless. And I don't know why, but that's what it smells like. And it's so strong. Like, it doesn't smell bad, but it's just overwhelming. And this badge was just not good. It smelled, it had a lot of loose threads and it's, you know, I don't really know. It's just, this this bag was not it. And, and I bought the red one. This red one is probably like my next favorite bag. The red one is always, the bigger red one of this bag, the bigger version of this bag is always sold out on this website. So, and originally I bought these two together. So I paid for this and then got this one free. Originally, I was going to get the bigger red bag, but it was all sold out. But I'm glad that I actually went with the with this brown bag because I like this bag a lot cuter. The camera is just not doing this this bag justice, but this bag is so cute in person, I promise you. And but this bag is so cute, guys. Like it's so cute. Like look at this red. Like like wow. Like amazing. And again, it doesn't have to flap. It's just the same thing inside. But this bag is so adorable. It's giving me Christmas. It's giving me Valentine's Day. It's giving me saucy date night. Um, I have not used this bag yet, but I am. I can't wait. I can't wait. Like this bag is so adorable. Like I can just see myself wearing this bag with a bold red lip and uh, with a cute outfit. And it's just, I love it. Like it's so adorable. Ugh, so we have one more bag to get through and then we're gonna wrap up the video. So this bag is actually not a Chanel dupe. It's actually a Bodega Vendetta dupe. And I've been eyeing this bag since last year when Bodega Vendetta was literally having their moment. They like 2020 belonged to Bodega Vendetta. Like I have never even heard of that brand until it started popping up on my IG feeds and Every YouTuber, influencer, celebrity, Insta baddie had these bags and I wanted one so bad. And I go on the website and it's like, oh, it's five to $6,000. Mm. Whenever there's a, a designer bag, there's a dupe. So this is it. This is the bag that I got. This was my second purchase from this website from LTL London. And I really I have a love-hate relationship with this bag. So one, I don't, I don't think the bag is gorgeous. I don't know if I would buy the real one though, but I still think it's gorgeous. But the leather, it feels so soft and luxurious. It just feels so nice to touch. You open it, it's stuffed, of course. And you just, I already used this bag, it's a little dirty, oh my goodness. But like, it's just, you know, plain inside it doesn't have any other zipper compartments it's just one big pouch that you can just throw anything and everything in it and it can actually store a lot and I'm actually very 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 surprised by that now the cons of this bag this chain is the cheapest chain you will ever feel in your life and this bag cost about a hundred dollar USD. A hundred. I was shocked too. So I'm just like, what is this chain? I honestly feel like they got this chain from like Michael's, Joanne Fabrics and literally just slapped it on this bag. Like it, I'm pushing 30. I am too old to be carrying a bag with this cheap of a chain. Like it's, it's giving me little girl vibes. It's giving me not, it didn't give what it was supposed to give. Like it's like, I'm very disappointed. So it's like, sometimes when I carry this bag, I'm just like, this is, this isn't, this ain't, this ain't it. Like, I don't know. It's still a cute bag regardless. Like from a distance, from a distance, like this bag is like, oh, okay, like cute. But, but then when you go up close, you're gonna realize you're like, oh, bitch, this, this bag is cheap. Like, what are you doing? But 
As I said earlier in the video, I said that I gifted my sister um, one of these bags. So I actually bought two of these bags. The first one was actually this blue color, which I didn't have any problem with the bag itself. However, the bag's color wasn't what I expected. I originally got a blue color of this bag and I thought it was gonna be like, like this blue, but it came out that it was like a dirty, like a dirty baby blue. Like it, it felt like it had like, like, like dirt on it and I didn't like it. Okay, to wrap up this video, I just want to put out my final thoughts on this brand, this company, if it's worth it. So the pros of this company, honestly, is that one, it's a real company. You're not gonna get ripped off. You're not gonna be scammed. You will get your items. You're, you're not, you don't have to worry about putting your credit card information and not worrying if you're gonna receive your products. Cause I know if you like order stuff from like DHGate or AliExpress, you don't really know what, what who's behind the other screen. If I like, if you wanna put it that way. But LTL London is, is a real brand. You will get your stuff, it's, it's cool. Two, another pro is that if you do want that Chanel inspired bags, that Chanel inspired looks or just designer looks in general, um, cause you don't want to go the replica route and you just want a dupe, you still want that Chanel inspired look, that designer look, uh, definitely go for LTL London. They have plenty of designer inspired looks from Chanel inspired bags to Gucci inspired bags. I saw on their website right before I filmed this video. Um, I even saw that they even had some like Birkin, Kelly type style bags. So if you really want like those designer inspired looks, I highly suggest going to LTL London because you will definitely get those little designer inspired looks and, um, and you won't be ripped off of your money. Another pro is that shipping is actually really good. The first time I ordered from that from this company, it took about two weeks. The second, third, the second and third time I ordered it, it took like maybe a week and a half. And then the last order I got literally took a week. Like it, they've been pretty good with shipping and tracking has been so easy. I just track it through the shop app and it's it's so easy. So I can't complain with shipping. It's like, it seems like every single time I placed an order, like my shipping got shorter and shorter and shorter. Maybe they realized that I'm a repeat customer, uh, but shipping was actually not that bad. It was actually pretty well. Now, with every pros, there comes the cons. My first con is personally, I don't think these bags are worth the money. I said it, I'm saying it. I don't think these bags are worth the money. You're gonna spend well over a hundred dollars on these bags that aren't even real leather. And you're gonna spend over a hundred dollars in these bags for gold, you're for your gold chain to start wearing out in like two months. These bags are not worth the money. Like honestly, if I know what I know now back then, I would have done some research, look for other websites and other brands that have a cheaper route. Cause I'm sitting here today, I'm filming this video in May and I did a lot of my purchases from December to March. And I found a website who sells these exact same bags for about $50. And now I feel like I kind of got ripped off. I can also do a review of the brand that I found. So if you guys want that video, I will definitely film it. Um, and honestly, that has been like my bag of the summer. I love that bag and I carry th that bag way more than I carry her. Like I, I don't know. I don't carry her that much just because she's wearing so bad. But this new brand that I found that was for $50, I'm mad that I was so broke with this bag. <laughs> but the bag, the brand that I found that was uh, the same type of bag, but for $50, it is worth the $50. Like if these bags were $50 or less, I would be like, yeah, they're worth their money. The second con is that the shipping price to the United States of America, it is ridiculous. I paid $33 each order 
crochet thing. It is so expensive. And I understand that it's coming from London. I understand that, but like, I, it's, it's expensive. Like I, it's, I paid cheaper in shipping with buying from Louis Vuitton than I did with LTL London. That's all I'm gonna say, that's all I'm gonna say. The third and final con that I would say about these bags are the quality, which takes me back to my first price saying that these bags aren't really worth the money um, and that they're pretty expensive. The quality of these bags does not match the price. Like my chain are wearing, the, the lock are wearing. I've only had these bags for a few months. And if, if, these, if this is how these bags are going to be wearing, then these bags will probably not even last me about a year. Um, and that's a year with like consistent wears. It makes me not wanna carry these bags a lot just because I know they're gonna wear so bad. Uh, it's just a shame that I just, I literally just received these bags and that I that have the chain wearing out, the lock is wearing out, the, the faux leather inside of the bags are wearing. I actually had to scribble in one of the bags with the black bag with red marker. Upon arrival with these bags, when I received them, a lot of them did come with loose threads. Like the, this white mini came with so many loose threads that I'm just like, why would you send me this? Like, I know it's for free, but it's like, why? Like, the disrespect. Like, um, even even here, like, I can, I haven't wear, I haven't worn this bag yet, and I can already see, like, a loose thread, like, like sitting out. Like, it's, it's like, there's loose threads all the time that I find in these bags, and I have not carried this bag out yet. So it's just, it's disappointing, cause it's like these bags are well over a hundred dollars. I paid a hundred and fifty dollars for my boy, for my boy bag dude. So it's like, if I'm spending 150, close to almost $200 on these bags, like don't you think I deserve a little bit of quality? I could have bought in a coach bag. And if there's one thing to know about me, I am a coach lover. I'm a coach lover. I love me some coach. And I could have bought really nice coach bags with the money I spent on LTL London. So it's just really very disappointing. But I still, but the pro about it is that I do have these Chanel inspired bags which can complete certain type of outfits. But the con is that these bags don't birth the money. So overall, do I recommend this website? Kind of, like kind of. It depend if you have time and money to waste like I did, um, then yeah, go for it. Uh, just know that there's cheaper options out there to do your research, um, search for other options. They do have cute bags, you're not gonna get ripped off. It really just depends on how you look at it. Like it's like I would give this website, this company like a six out of ten, maybe, maybe seven, but like I don't know. It's just like, it's kind it's kind of worth it, kind of not. It really just depends on how you see it. So I think this is de the definition of a hit or miss company. So that's how I see it. Like you could love your product, you could hate it. Cause that's literally how I feel. There are some products like my boy bag, like this caramel colored bag that I literally adore. Like I love this bag so much that I'm like, yeah, this, this, this website's worth it. And then there's bags like, like this black bag and then this this white mini that are like eh not worth it so it depends on it really just depends on um on how you see it so that's that is my review on this company so if you guys love this video give this video a big thumbs up feel free to subscribe i'm trying to figure out a filming schedules and an upload schedule that will fit better for me because i do have a full-time job and i am trying to go to medical school and you know there's a lot of things going on but i do want to keep it consistent so yeah make sure you guys follow me on instagram my socials will be linked down below and thank you for tuning into this video if you've made it this far and i will see you guys in my next one bye